project car that he has been working on forever. I don't think he's ever got it running yet. Well, I've been working on this thing for a while here. I pretty much redid the engine and it just, you know, it doesn't work. Every time I turn the key, it just, you know, gives me a bunch of attitude and I just, I just really don't know what's wrong with it. It's like it's, you know, laughing at me, you know, like right in my face, it's laughing crazy at me. Whatever Brett is working on his car, it's a nightmare. It is a legitimate nightmare. So Evan and I coined this Evan and I coined this phrase called the 60-40 rule. And pretty much all it means is whenever Brett's working on his car, stay 60 to 40 feet away and you'll be 100 percent okay. Ben and I came up with the 60-40 rule. Uh, as a result of witnessing Brett working on his vehicle and coming to the realization that we need to take measures for our own safety. If you don't believe me, Brett's working on his car right now. The funny thing is, Brett could have actually had this car running months ago, but the problem is he breaks the things he just fixes because he's mad at the things that aren't working. We like to call it the Brett cycle. Now, I know I haven't said hi to you guys yet, so I want to show you something, and lucky for us, it's about 40 to 60 feet away from Brett. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. You know, I was thinking, I don't think we officially, officially said hello yet, so hey, how's it going? So I decided for my own safety is probably the best thing that I'm not right next to Brett because you know, the 60-40 rule, it's a real thing. So I wanted to come inside of here because I wanted to show you guys, um, well honestly, I want to show you guys these two things. Because these two things, and you might be like, Ben, what are those things? They're go-karts, right? These are, these, not right away, not like, Brett, what are you doing? You know, I'm trying to find my jacket. You know, Paul's here, and it's just like winter's right. Yeah, okay, first of all, there is a cold front moving in very rapidly. And I get sick of this cold weather, get stay there! Hold on, Brett! Will you just calm down for half a second? I'm trying yeah, to tell I'm I trying to get the go cart! Why are you throwing stuff? Yeah, you know what? I Brett, why that. are you throwing stuff? I needed that. You're throwing what you need? Yeah. Do you need me? Ah! Where is it, Brett? Yeah, I don't know. Where is your whatever you're looking for? Where's the brush? Because yeah. you come in so aggressive every single time. You can't help it it's cold out. Oh, so every I time it's cold, every call. time it's cold, you just have to flip out? It please keeps me warm. Oh, way to go. Come on. Way to Jeez. go. Brett, do you even, do you even understand yes. how, what on earth is that? I think this might be, this looks like a treasure map. down in the shed and what do you mean you found the treasure map i found that treasure map i it, it's my discovery i found this treasure map what i'm saying, saying what i'm saying over here hold on you know i don't know what to tell you you expect this kind of stuff to happen in movies and stuff like that but with brett and ben it seems like it happens all the time and i guarantee you like within the next couple of minutes they're gonna forget that they were just fighting they're gonna come bursting through that door. Are you kidding me? You wanna go on an adventure with Brett and I? 
So this was when we lost complete control of the day. Evan hit his breaking point. He went mad. That's when Brett came in. He fell on the broken dishes. He was over dramatic about it because he bit his tongue and he spit blood everywhere. Then we thought we got the situation under control, but no, Brett caught something on fire. The kitchen's on fire. Then finally, we actually do get it under control. We made sandwiches and we went on a treasure hunt. <laughs> So this is the map. Now, nothing of the map makes any sense except for one small part. This, Billager's Rocks. Now, we actually know where Billager's Rocks is, which is really good for a starting point on a map. But what we decided to do was contact the Billager's Rocks Association, meet with Terry, the head of the whole organization, and see what he thought about the map. All right, Terry, so this is the map that we found, I just wanted to... Wow. So, Terrence led us to believe... Terry. Terry. Terry led us to believe that the map was actually legitimate and that we could totally find some treasure. I mean, I, I had my doubts about this map. I mean, a treasure map, like, we found a real treasure map, come on. Like, I mean, we ran our own tests and everything, but we're not mapagists. So, apparently, in the 1800s, there was a bandit who robbed people in this area in these rocks and I guess nobody knows where he buried the treasure and he took that to his grave with him. We, we knew that he hit these trails here and there was always they always thought that maybe he buried they didn't find the money on him all the money that he had got over those years. So he had robbed the people but robbed, then they never found money on never, him. Never found at the time of his death he did not reveal where the he had buried any of his spoils from all these uh, early robberies. I was feeling really good about this treasure map. And then Ben asked Terrence a question. Terry. Terry a question. And that just changed everything. Well, Terry, thank you. So is there anything that you think we should watch out for as we go on this quest? You've got to watch for these strange creatures that pop up. And I can't promise you'll see them, but watch. Strange creatures like, like what? Bilgy. Bilgy, a dinosaurian type creature that appears here once in a while. Dinosaurs. 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 All right, guys, so we are now at Billiger's Rocks. Um, the rocks are over that way. But so like we were showing you guys before, the only thing on this map that really makes sense is this. This is Billiger's Rocks. What we're assuming, it's called the Hidden Rocks Treasure. And it says Billiger's is here. And the treasure's over here, so we're thinking that there's more rocks. Yeah, we need to head east. Is that compass right, though? I don't know. It's an old, old compass. This is what Terrence is talking about. Yeah, there's Belgy. This is the real question, Brett. Do you think that there is an actual treasure? Well, I mean, I hope so, but I hope it's not, you know, spoils I from the 1800s, like rusty iron and salt. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's been stealing a bunch of people's coal. Yeah. This is cool. Where's Evan? Where's Evan? We need to freaking find him. It's like a cave. Alright, so whenever we do this, Brett, whenever we make it through here, yeah. the one thing that you should be, you know, cautious about, Terrence warned us that we can end up in a different dimension. Well, maybe this is the, uh, the rift in time or the... Maybe this is the, the gateway. Stargate or something. I'm just saying, I'm not saying that it's true. I'm just saying that you should watch out. Like, like the dinosaur is actually going to walk out in front of us. Um, the map, we assume, is oh, real. Look, ben, I told you he'd be on a rock. He's right there. Evan, what are you doing? Find him, man. It's giving me some ideas for something we can do in the spring. There's some really cool stuff around you, here. You know what like gave me stuff. some ideas for the spring? What? Finding buried treasure. Are you kidding me? You're still on that? We have a map. What are you? Oh, you're trying to show off for the camera now, huh? Showing off for the camera. I'm trying to talk some sense into you, boys. Got enough sense here on this treasure we, map. Evan, I'm trying to talk some sense into you. We have buried treasure that we are trying to find, and you... Look at that. Map. You trying to figure out some stuff for the spring? I'll tell yeah. you what I'm trying to figure out for the spring. Hundreds of millions of dollars buried yep. in these rocks somewhere. Pure oh, are they right here? Is that where they are? Yeah. Oh, Evan! 
Have you ever read a map before? X marks the spot. Did you realize there's like hundreds of acres of land out here? This is the most vague map we I've ever seen in my life. Almost there. Oh yeah, we're close. We're, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we're close. We look. think this is some type of river. Oh, I see. Oh, look, there's one tree. That tree. Are we close to one of these three down here? Maybe that's those three right there. Maybe. We're never gonna find this treasure. Did you? Yeah, you did you just see what I noticed? What? He, he thinks that there is a treasure though. It, maybe he knows there's a treasure. That, did you bury this treasure? That's misconstruing my words, Ben. No, let's play it back. We're never gonna find this treasure. Fake vlog. Fake vlog. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many cool root systems um, on these rocks everywhere. And, uh, what was that? Is that Dilgy? I think it was. Let's sneak up on him. I think a, a sauropod is a very light step. It's almost like it, it has the noise of a squirrel. It looks very small. Alright, well we don't see Bilgy. Well, is that a huge surprise? But let me ask you this. It, it's a, it has to do with that map. How exactly are you sure that that map is totally real? Um, a, Terrence gave us the Terry. approval. Terry gave us the approval of it's a real map, so he seems more like a mapagist than any of us. He's not a mapagist, which isn't a word, by the way, or whatever the heck you called it. Where's a mapagist? I think we should probably take this to one of those guys and get we, it validated before we go we off on some kind of crazy adventure. Where the map? Terry did already validate. Look at this road. Terry's not a mapagist. What? You're saying Terry's not a mapagist? Yeah, I'm saying Terry's the head of this Builders Rocks Association. But and he it make gave us accreditation about it, being yeah. real. Right. I think um, he was being nice to you because he wanted you to think that you had a real map. Wow. Evan's true colors are coming out. I'm just being careful. That's all. That's all I'm doing. You're I just, just being be careful? Sure no, I, I appreciate, kind of I appreciate it. Brett, I think that we should maybe... I'm right here. I think he's getting right here. I mean, he's getting three assault. feet behind you. Yeah. That's if, it. Hey, Evan. Not out of We worked out a new deal, and it just so happens that <sighs> gold, silver, Brett and I are going to split. Yeah. Salt. So the funny thing about this new deal is that the only thing that really changed here was your volume, which didn't have to because I'm still right behind you, and whenever you're making your crazy plans to exclude me from all of your riches, I can still hear you because I'm literally three feet behind you. Evan's a big pessimist now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Guys! We have a body of water. That has to be what this is. I mean, that has no, to be. It's definitely. It's, I think this is definitely where the road crosses the stream. Guys, small confession. Is a small confession? We're lost. No, I swear we're going the right way. No, we're lost. No, we're going. We're lost. We're, I'm convinced we're going the right way. I get, I'm looking at the map. We gotta be going the right way. We're not Brett, even on I know trail. for a fact we're lost. We were right beside the river, and now all of a sudden we can't see the river, and you have the map telling us we're going the wrong way. It snakes around a bit. I don't. I don't think we're. We lost. aren't even on a trail anymore, man. We're walking through the middle of the woods. Well, Shh. you know. Shh. Do you hear that? Do what? Shh. Oh wait, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Sounds like it's too close. Welcome to my forest. Come closer and know me better, man. I'm Bilgy the Sortopod. Yeah, so uh, we we saw a real dinosaur. An actual Sortopod dinosaur. Sauropod. What? I'm talking about a real life Sauropod. I'm talking four legs, long neck, everything. It even has a name. Of course, we run into a dinosaur. A talking dinosaur. He's like legit the coolest guy I've ever met. Why yes, Ben, I can ride a skateboard. He was so helpful too. See, this whole time we're looking for the hidden treasure, but guess what? It's a spiritual quest. We couldn't take our backpacks because it burdened our souls. We never would have figured this out without, without the help of Bill G. No way. 
Not a chance. No. Mm -mm. Not buying it. Well, my sons, your souls are weighed down by your backpacks. You must leave your sandwiches, uh, backpacks here. Only then will you find the treasures or goblins or whatever it is you're doing out here. I mean, that makes sense. I think it No. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> guys, no, what are you doing? No, we don't on, need to me. do this. Give me. Give me. Oh, God. Dude, seriously. It's gotta be. This is obviously a real treasure map. It's a real treasure map. It doesn't mean it's a map. Come on, don't listen. Whatever that is. Okay, it's so magic. Oh god. All right. Okay. Guys, 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 guys. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it, but not because I want to. It's a spiritual quest. Yeah, I get that. Okay. We're going to actually find treasure. Oh yeah, there's sword. You know, at this point, we better find treasure. Otherwise, I'm gonna kill both. Hey, thanks, Bilgy. What is this stuff? It's obviously... No, I don't know. This is ashes. How this is has it? to be ashes. How is it we, ash? When we went through the portal... What portal? The portal to get to these... The, the rocks. Like, there has to be a portal going on here. It took us back in time to, to when the dinosaurs were dealing with the ashes. So you're saying that we traveled back in time to when the meteor hit, and this is ash and not snow? That's not the most ridiculous thing we've seen today. It's I mean, it crazy. makes kind of sense. Did you notice you had to put your hood up? It's probably snow. It's just I mean, hold on. Back. Let's do some scientific stuff. Like, this could very easily be ash from when the dinosaurs got killed. It could be the Ice Age. It could be the Ice Age. We're dealing with time portals and a bunch of different stuff, Evan. But also, hold on. Taste it. I don't know, have you ever tasted volcanic ash? Well, this, might, this might be the Ice Age. See, I kind of believe that Bilgy was just, uh, you know, survived. Survived for six billion years and learned English. It's probably somewhat likely. Wait, guys. What? These are the rocks. It's right here. Like it says on the map. Well, let's go claim our treasure. Yeah. <laughs> let's go! I knew we could trust Bilgy. I mean, look at this. We're at the rocks. The treasure's got to be here. I mean, when a talking dinosaur tells you there's hidden rocks with treasure, I say go for it. So I've, I've spent some time contemplating, you know, as Brett and Evan are looking for the map, looking for the map over there. I, I was thinking, you know, I think that this was a spiritual quest. And I think that, you know, Brett brought up a good point. We actually may be about six billion years in the past once the asteroid hit the earth and we're now having ash that's falling on us that's eventually going to kill the dinosaurs i'm i've been contemplating should we try and save them i don't know whoa i seriously think we actually have made it into a different part of time this place is so cool So Brett and Ben find this map, and I'm very skeptical of it. We talk to Terry. I'm still skeptical, but Terry has a lot of good input. Then we find a talking dinosaur. Um, I don't know what to say about that, other than that I am skeptical of that. But he tells us about this map and tells us to find treasure back here. And apparently there's treasure back here because everything he's said so far has been true. So I'm starting to believe in this treasure. Yeah, it's a trap! Yeah. It's a trap! It's a trap! No, no, no! Ow, 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 ow! It's a trap! It's a trap! It's a trap! Are these the backpacks? What? What happened? Dude! Here? What is this? I told you guys. What did I you tell you, us? I told you we shouldn't leave the backpack. It wasn't. Look, a spiritual journey. He was just after our sandwiches. Uh, that's what it is. I thought he was backpacks. our friend. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, our friend. He's after our sandwiches. I can't believe No! It. Did you see? No! Well, what well, if- No! He guards these rocks and his treasure protects from some travelers from the gold. Centuries of wisdom shared with pleasure as generous build these stories on gold. <laughs> 
Jamie came me. What? Yes! 